Good news. Lois just called. Brenda's back safe and sound. She'll explain it all when she gets here. Well, I never doubted she wasn't safe. That lady can take care of herself. In some ways. Hmm. Whatever it was, I uh, have an idea Sonny Corinthos has something to do with it. Do you know the guy? Yes. Yeah, I figured you would. I don't suppose there's much going on in this town you don't know about. Nope. You seem like the uh, type people confide in. Why is it, do you think, that uh, certain people seem to invite trust? They look wise and safe, like they have some sort of gut honesty. Others are compelled to deposit secrets with them. It's a mysterious thing. There's no mystery, there's a reason. Oh? We keep our mouths shut. Right. In other words, you wouldn't be likely to supply me with any more information about Brenda or Mr. Corinthos. No. Don't despair. Here she comes. You can ask her yourself. I'm so sorry. Oh? You would not believe what happened. Sure, I would. I have no trouble with the idea that some guy who still has the hots for you would do his best to try and stop you flying off to Galway Bay with me. I gather it was your, uh, Mr. Corinthos. How did you know that? You know, Lois told me that you two were both at the gatehouse today. Well, he was so nonchalant about your disappearance, I figured he had a hand in it. Well, he did. I just went and confronted him, and he didn't exactly admit to it, but it was obvious. So I told him that I was furious at him. I'm sorry I missed that one. You feel better? No. Well, why not just take it as a compliment and let it go? Could you please refrain from using that expression around me? Because it's, it's not that simple. You know, Jack's nothing in life is that simple. Sure it is. If you let it be. Here's what you do. Every morning when you wake up, you decide what it is that you want. Then you do the next thing involved in getting it. <laughs> okay, well, philosophically speaking, what if you can't have what you want? Want it enough and you will. This works for you? For the most part. On the rare occasion where it hasn't, I've usually stopped wanting whatever it was. Oh, so you conned yourself. That I never do. No, I've usually stopped wanting it because uh, I found something better to want. Right. Well, whatever works. I will not let Sonny control me. In fact, I won't let anybody control me. What I really want right now is a rain check on that flight to Ireland. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? Well, Lois is worried about you hanging around with me, and uh, I don't want Lois worried. Oh, so what you don't want is more important than what I want? Well, it's my plane. Oh, I see. However, I do have an alternative suggestion. Men are all alike. Well, I think I've just been insulted. Well, it's just that men like to make promises when the mood strikes them. Oysters in Ireland. I never renege on a promise without a good reason. Sure. Which is why I don't make promises lightly. Oysters you want, oysters you shall have. Yeah, forget it. I don't want oysters anymore. <laughs> you know, I bet the more people try to talk you out of something, the more you want it, right? It's my life, Jax. And what I really want is to learn to fly a jet. Well, your uh, dear friend Lois, the woman of my dreams, thinks I'm complicating your life unnecessarily, so the uh, flying lessons are on hold. No, they're not. Patience isn't your strongest suit, is it? <laughs> and it's yours? It's discipline worth cultivating. You know, a mountain lion can stay frozen in one position for an hour, waiting for its prey to come close enough to ensure a kill. But then, some things wait for no man or woman, like Galway Bay oysters. Lady, if I'm not going to take you to Ireland, I'll just have to bring Ireland to you.